Okay, kids, today um, you're going to take a few minutes and you're going to watch me go through the process of taking a screenshot and putting it into a, um, into a photo, of course, saving it, cropping it, editing it, and then putting it into a document. So first things first, we're going to go um, onto Safari. I want you to just take a little bit of time and watch me do these steps before you go and practice them on your own. So please make sure that your iPads are off and face down. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do first is I went on to Safari and I'm going to search for some photos. And I'm going to think about what interests me. And first of all, um, flowers interest me. And I'm going to search flowers. I want to look at images and I get some wonderful pictures of flowers. Okay. I'm going to scroll down and find a great picture. And that luckily this is a nice big picture. But if you see, if I take a screenshot, I'm going to get all of this stuff up here and all of this down here. Now to take a screenshot, what you're going to do is you're going to touch your home button and you're also going to touch this button up here at the top at the same time and what you'll see on your screen as I do it you may hear a flash and you'll also see your screen flash again okay now that one for some reason I got some other stuff over there so I'm gonna go ahead and do that one more time there okay so I've taken about three pictures now um, I'm going to show you how you can edit those. So I'm going to just push my home button. And I'm going to go to my photos. And I see down here the three pictures that I took. So first thing, I'm going to go to this last photo. And see my photo, how it has all that like I was talking about? What I want to do with my photo is I want to edit it. So I'm going to find where it says edit on my screen. I'm going to touch that. And over here on the side, or it may be down here for some of you, you'll see an icon that looks like a little box. That's where you're going to um, touch on that, and that will give you the option to crop your photo. So you can see there's, I have now these little 90 degree angles on each of my corners and what I'm going to do is just take my finger and drag that I guess I should watch what I'm doing in and what is being cut out of my picture is turning gray and what I'm saving is still bright and pretty so I want to get rid of maybe this down here I'm going to do the same thing over here Now, this is what my picture looks like without all of the other things. I'm going to say done, and it saved my photo, and now my photo looks like this. Now I can also, I'm just going to go back to that other photo. When I did a screenshot and I had all those other photos kind of show up off to the side, but I really like this butterfly. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to edit. I'm going to crop. I'm going to drag it in and just get that butterfly. And I'm going to say done. And now I have this picture. Okay. A few other things that you can do for editing purposes is I have a great picture of a butterfly here. I've cropped it down to what I want. Um, let's say that I want to change the color scheme of this to maybe black and white. Right here where my three circles are, I'm going to touch that. And it gives you so many choices that you can um, kind of see what your picture looks like. And just click through those. That's pretty. Well, that's super bright. And you can choose to save your photo even as maybe a different type of I really like that one, I think, with a different filter or a different lens, okay? So I'm going to say done on that one, and it'll save that. Now, when I go to my photo album, I have this photo. 
I have this photo. Now, at the very beginning, I had this one. I don't think I want that one anymore, so I'm just going to throw that in the trash. Yes, I want to delete it. And maybe I want to go back and get a couple more pictures. I'm going to do the same process. This time, instead of flowers, um, I think I'm going to look up mountains. And I want to look at images. Find a wonderful image that I like. Click on it. It's a great picture. I think I'm going to go back and choose a different one though. I'm going to go back. Let's see what else I got. Ooh. Ooh. That's a nice one too. Okay, screenshot again. Home button. Voila. Go back and edit. Okay? I want you to try that on your own for a few minutes.